This young gentleman is a particularly important New Zealander. He and his relatives outnumber the human population 20 to 1 and provide roughly two-thirds of the country's exports. Because of the large variations in land and climate in which sheep farming is carried on, there are vast differences between sheep farming on the succulent paddocks of the plains and that on mountainous tussock country. Here the sheep are reared for their wool. The mobs may be up to 11 to 12,000. With a ratio of about one sheep to every 10 acres, the stations are sometimes 100,000 acres. Half a dozen men with 30 or so dogs can move a lot of sheep quickly and efficiently when they muster them down before the winter snowfalls. In other areas of both islands, the sheep are bred for their meat rather than wool. Mobs tend to be on the small side, between a few hundred to a few thousand. On lush country, the farmer can run up to 10 sheep to the acre. One man, his horse and three or four dogs can handle the mobs quite easily when the time comes to bring them in for crutching or shearing. Inside the shearing shed, skilled hands help the sheep out of its coat before it has any idea of what's happening. With a technique developed in this country, a good man can shear about 300 sheep a day. The mobs of two or three thousand sheep are shorn by contractors who travel from shed to shed. The baled wool is inspected at the wool store by local and overseas buyers. 